But I want more toes. Brian, the toe got in the drink by mistake. You got a toe in your drink? Yeah. The drink was faulty. Definitely. You should complain. That way you'll get loads of free gifts. So we don't want faulty toes, we want perfect ones. No, you want perfect drinks with no toes in them. Right. So if we get faulty goods, we complain, then we get lots of free gifts. Maybe loads more pens. Excellent. <laughs> Oi, ring pull. Word. Oh. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's been good to spend so much time with you. All the things you learn about people. All the... Uh... <laughs> Uh, just pick up some mark and then we can be off. Uh, um, Mrs. Johnson, can I help you? I thought you might like a little light supper, Graham. It's my special recipe. It's raspberry and bacon crumble. Well, uh, thank you, Mrs. Johnson. I shall, uh, I shall look forward to it. <laughs> what an odd woman she is. Well, do you know, I've always thought she was rather... Rather what? What? Gorgeous. Creative. Impressively intellectual. He's still here. Thank you, Aki. They are inside. Together. It's a shame you're not a fly on the wall. Then you could hear what they were saying. <laughs> Another successful day, Frankie. Tomorrow, all of this will be mine. Thanks to our lean, mean speed machine. Ah! Then he's gone. What? Gone. Escaped. On the run. Do you think it was Brian's drink? I said you should have sucked a lettuce. Come on. He must have escaped while we were in the classroom. She's seen better days. <laughs> She's getting a bit old. <laughs> She's past it. Mm. An old banger, ready for the scrap heap. Your chips. I hope they're perfect, not faulty. <laughs> Would you like? Oh, no problem. Um, I'll have a chocolate milkshake. Yeah, I'll have... You have served me snail and chips. Oh, are you serving snails here? No. Well, that's a shame. You could turn the diner into a sort of French bistro. Give it a certain ambiance. I'm not satisfied, do you hear? I'm complaining, which means you must give me free things. <laughs> So, I'll have chips, a double bacon and cheeseburger, some stuffed pig trotters, and one roasted... No, two roasted monkey brains. There's no snail in there. Well, there was. Hands up! Who had a snail in their chips? There's no snail in any of the chips. Well, there were snails in the chips. I'm complaining. Who's with me? I will not cease until justice is done. I'll sue. I will sue. Whatever that means. <laughs> I must be in the school somewhere. I need him to win that race. She's turned him against me. How could he say those horrible things about me? An old banger! <laughs> Since when have I been an old banger? Falling apart? Be honest with me, Frankie. Do you think I'm falling apart? Yes, you are. I trusted him. I even made him my special supper. That Hardman is a wicked woman. Hello? Is that customer complaints? Good. Yes, I have measured every single slice of your loaf of bread, and four out of the 30 slices are two millimetres thinner than the others. <laughs> Plus, one of the slices has a hole in it. So, what are you going to give me to compensate me? Nothing. Well, I... hello? Hello? The postman's just delivered more of these. What does that say? You can't trust anyone, especially teachers. No, it says fragile. Do not bend. You need your eyes tested. My eyes are fine. You've been watching too much TV. You should be careful or you'll end up needing glasses. If you need glasses, CJ, does that mean that you're faulty? Maybe we should complain to someone and get lots more free goodies. Ignore him. Even if you do have to wear glasses, lots of people do. It's no big deal. Sophie, where's my breakfast? Well, perhaps. 
Perhaps you'd like to have breakfast with Mrs Hardman, since you're her favourite pupil. <laughs> Here. We still can't find him. One of them pop down the park at lunchtime. Maybe he'll just turn up with his little house on his back. Oh, dear boys, I know how much you'd hate to keep me waiting. Um, sir, I seem to have the wrong books. You seem to have the wrong brains, Barker. <laughs> Borrowed from a gnat. Hurry up. And you. Oh, Mr. Whiteside. A oh, word? Oh, what, what, you, uh, you do look a bit flushed. <clears throat> it's over, Graham. I don't love you anymore. I did, but I don't now. So you can go back to Mrs. Johnson. That's who they say you've been seeing. Love, do, do you love me? But we must never see each other ever again. Which will be easy now you're leaving the school. Leaving? Your word is. You're getting too old. And they're saying you're generally just a bit rubbish at teaching. <laughs> Who's saying that? Oh, but I don't think you're rubbish. Just because the children don't like you and you can't control them. And I always say you're not that old, although you are going a bit. I beg your pardon? And what exactly are you doing, Josh Barker? Um, just getting my books for the next class, miss. <laughs> right, class. Settle down now, oh, Mr. Whiteside. Enjoy your retirement. Uh, Alison, who, who's been saying I'm leaving? Sophie. And finally, if you'd like to read the bottom line. It's too small. No, it isn't. Come on. P. 